everyone, welcome to Actress Online Class. My name is Shodi Mokeni, and today we will be drafting our A light skirt pattern. Now, I'm doing this video for the purpose of those who don't know how to draft an A light skirt because we'll be using that as our skirt like foundation on our, for our um, pants um, um, tutorials that we're taking. So, now the measurement needed for the A light skirt is just your waist. Your hip and then your length to um, uh, your length to knee, your waist to knee, or wherever you want, want your uh, pants to get to. Now, what I will do here is on your pattern paper, you from the edge of your pattern paper. This is the edge of my pattern paper here. I'm assuming I'm going to leave some few inches. Let's say about two inches at the edge of my pattern paper here. Then I'm going to start with my central back, from my central back to my central front. So this is my central back and this is my central front. Now on my waistline, this is going to be my waistline, my waistline, and then I want I want to get my hip line. Now the hip for to get your hip line is just your waistline down. Eight and a half inches. Now, this is not, um, it ranges from eight inches to nine inches, but for an average person, we use eight and a half inches to get our um, hip depth. So, I'm going to measure from here to here, eight and a half inches, and I'm going to measure from here as well to this point, eight and a half inches. So, I'm going to connect. This two lines together from here to this particular point here. So this is my hip line. This is going to be my hip line. So um, the next thing I'm going to do is to get my back waist point. I'm going to take my waist, I'll divide it by 4. Now, for this class, we're using a waist 32. So, divided by 4 will give us 8 inches. Then you have 1 inches to it. That's going to give you 9 inches. Now, the reason we're adding this 1 inches is just for um, the um, dart placement. So, I'm adding 9 inches to my waist line. For the front bodies, I'm just going to use... Waist divided by two, uh, divided by four, which is um, that's two divided by four, which is eight inches. I don't need um, uh, that for my front body for an A-line skirt. Now the next thing is to insert your hip point. Now to get your back hip point is your uh, what, uh, forty inches. We are using forty inches for our hip. Forty inches divided by four, which is ten inches. So from your central back, you measure. 10 inches. Now, for your central front as well, you measure 10 inches. You mark it out as your hip point. Now, for your waist that, you know, we are not working with uh, the front waist that. The waist that, we don't need uh, waist that at the front, we only need for the back body. Now, here at the central back, you push it in just about. Six eight inches, six eight inches, which is three quarter, the same thing as three quarter. You push, push it in six eight inches here, and then you have that six eight back here to give you the slanted central back. Now you connect this line from here to here, you connect it together for your back body to connect it together just like this, and then. You divide your hip divided by 4, which is 8 inches. The 8 inches you divide it by 2 to give you 4 inches. That will be your dart placement. Now, this dart placement is necessary, is not uh, what it's called, it's not really um, a standard measurement. You can decide to place your dart anywhere you want. You can use your apex to apex, um, your bust fan divided by uh, 2 to get your dart placement. Depends on you. Now, I'm going to place it here, which is 4 inches. Then I will bring it down just um, about 5 
inches below, five inches below my waistline, I'll mark it, then I'll take half inches on both sides, half on this side and half inches on this side, and I'll connect the lines together. Half on this side and half inches on this side. You get my that placement. So that is it. Now the next thing we'll do is we'll move to our um, CF here. Now from the center front, we'll bring it down a little bit by half inches. Now the reason we are doing this is to avoid the bulge in case your client is someone who has a um, tummy. To avoid, to avoid that, you bring it down half inches, one inches, depending on you. Now you connect it using your hip curve to your hip point. You connect those lines together from your hip curve, using your hip curve rather, from your central front to your waist point. You connect that, then you connect your hip point to your waist point using your hip curve as well. You connect it temporarily, you do this for now. Then the same thing with our um, waist and our hip, we connect it together, connect them together as well. Now, the next thing we are going to do is, you know this is an A, this we are drafting a, a, a light skirt. So which means you don't want it straight or anything. Now, this is my hemline. They are giving this is my hemline. Now, my hip divided by 4 is 10 inches. So, I'll just draft 10 inches, measure 10 inches down on both sides. This side 10 inches and also on this side from the central front and back 10 inches. I'll connect this line together like this. I'll connect them together to this side and then I'll connect this one as well together. Now, I've connected them together. This is just your normal skirt, um, your normal um, skirt, straight skirt pattern. Now, depending on how you want the A line to be, um, to, to be, depending on how you want it, that is how you, you extend your line. Now, for me, naturally, I'll just extend about 5 to 6 inches. I'll extend 5 to 6 inches, but for this one, I'll extend 7 inches on this side and then seven inches on the other side, seven inches on both sides. Can you see that? I'm extending seven inches on both sides and then I'm going to use my ruler to connect it from my waist point all the way down. I'll extend it from my waist point all the way down. I'll extend it all the way down from my waist point to, to the end. I'll connect it like that and then the same thing for my back body. I'll connect it from my all the way down like that. So here you will realize that the hip is a little bit free. So it depends on the extension. If I want the hip to be to still be a little bit tight, I can decide to extend it just by five inches, thereby it will pass through my hip line and then fall down. So it depends on, on you. So this is just the basic um, A-line skirt pattern. So this is what we are going to be using to draft our skirt-like um, foundation. So thank you for this class. See you next class. Bye.